Hey there, I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're gonna go over an introduction to Power Search, our new plugin for Premiere Pro. It's basically a search engine for Premiere. It'll allow you to search all the metadata in your Premiere project. And when we say metadata, we mean, for example, transcripts, as you can see here in our transcriptive panel. In this case, we've used Transcriptive to get the transcripts, but you can use pretty much any service. Power Search is pretty agnostic when it comes to where the transcript came from, AI, human, whatever. So we search all the transcripts. We also search the metadata panel. So if your clips have metadata in them, be it the name or description or copyright or transcripts as well, Power Search will search all of that. It'll search through captions. So if you have caption files, we'll find that text as well and markers. So pretty much anywhere that you have text in Premiere, Power Search will search it. And so like any search engine, you need to index. And so the first step is to click on index project. This will go through your Premiere project and look at all your metadata. So if you have transcripts with your clips or if you have captions or if you have markers applied to sequences, information in the metadata panel, all that stuff gets indexed by Power Search and then can be searched. And as you can see here, we have a few sequences, which are the blue ones, and a few other clips, which are these, as well as an SRT file for captions. Now this works a little bit better if you have transcripts with all your footage, because that gives you all of your dialogue attached to your clips as metadata. And of course, we recommend Transcriptive for that purpose. That's another panel that we make for Premiere Pro that makes it very easy and inexpensive to get transcripts, either with artificial intelligence or by a human transcription service. Either way, it can be accessed with Transcriptive, and then you have all that information in Premiere, and you can edit it, but it makes it very powerful when used with Power Search, because now you have all your transcripts. Now you can also use Power Search with other services. There's a number of other websites and services that will get you transcripts, which you can get into Premiere in various different ways. Power Search can search all of that, but none of them are fully integrated into Premiere like Transcriptive is. But if you're using Trent or Speedscriber or Simon Says, or even somebody like Rev or Transcribe Me, you can import all of that either via XML or caption files. And all of that will be searchable by Power Search. But once you've got all your metadata into Premiere, it works pretty much like any other search engine. You can just click in the search box here. And this is mostly meditation talks. So we're gonna type in meditation and hit return. And that's going to go through the index and find every instance of where meditation is said in the case of the transcripts. And it'll also show things like markers as well as what is in the metadata. And so this all shows up in the metadata panel. And if we click on a clip, you'll see that all of this is searchable. So if you have like the name, if you have a description, if you have copyright information, and of course, if you have the transcript in the speech analysis field, all of this is searchable. And the great thing with everything else is that they all behave like search results that you're used to with any search engine. But instead of going to a website, as you click on these, it's going to jump to that point in time in the sequence or clip. So as you can see, the time for this is 39.42, and that's essentially where it jumped to here. Now, in the case of markers and speech analysis, it's gonna to jump to about two seconds prior to where the word is spoken or located. And that gives you the ability to hear a little bit of what's in front of the word instead of just starting right on the word because frequently it's part of a sentence and it's usually not the first word of the sentence. So just know that it's always going to jump two seconds before the word. And so that's a feature, not a bug. And so that's what happens with sequence results is that they're going to open the timeline panel. And this is the same thing for markers. If you click on a marker, it's going to open the timeline panel and jump right to where that marker is. Well, actually two seconds before that marker. 
But if you click on a clip result, you'll see that all of these are clips. You can see the name clip here. This is a sequence. They're shaded slightly different. This is lighter. These are a little bit darker. But if you click on a clip search result, it's going to open up that clip in the source panel and jump to that time. So if it's a sequence, it's in the timeline panel. If it's a clip, it's in the source panel. Pretty cool. Now with metadata, it'll open up the clip in the source monitor, just like a, the clip results do. But we don't switch over to the metadata panel. It's really just for informational purposes. So that's it for the search results. Now, an important thing is these pluses. Go back to our starting screen. Now the pluses mean re-index. Indexing can take quite a while. If you have a big project, say you have hundreds of video clips with transcripts and sequences with markers and all sorts of stuff, it can take a few minutes to index all that stuff. If you add a bunch of files and you don't want to re-index the entire project, you can come up here to the plus here, and this will just index just the new files. And likewise, if you make a change to one of these, say we add some information to the metadata panel for one of the clips, say we add a bunch of markers for one of the sequences, we can click on the plus next to that sequence or clip, and it will only re-index just that clip. So that makes it much easier and much faster to deal with indexing. You don't have to re-index the entire project every time you make a change. And one other nice thing is if you do want to re-index the project, you can click on re-index and this will take you back to the main screen where you can click on index project. But also when you index the project, it will also save all that data. And we can just click on load from save and PowerSearch will pull in all of that saved data which is much faster than indexing from scratch, especially with large projects. But the combination of indexing and saving can take quite a while with larger projects. So often you want to just click that and go get coffee and step away for about 10 minutes. Because if you're dealing with hundreds of clips, it's definitely gonna take a few minutes. And that's really it for PowerSearch. Like I said, it'll search pretty much everything where there's text be that transcripts, be that your metadata panel, be it captions. If you have a caption file like that SRT file that we have, uh, say we have a clip for that, we can look at our caption file. Now, of course, there are ways to search all this stuff within Premiere. It's just that Premiere doesn't offer a very easy way of searching all the metadata in the entire project. You can certainly search within captions for a single sequence, you can search the markers for a sequence, but there's really no good place to search all that data all at one time. And that's what PowerSearch gives us. So we can type in steel, and this will give us search results from the captions. So it's a very powerful way of finding stuff within your Premiere project. It makes finding things in large projects much, much easier, and hopefully will improve your edit workflow. So definitely try it out. You can go to digitalanarchy.com and get a free seven day trial. There are no limitations on the seven day trial. You're free to use it as much as you want. You can also get a trial of transcriptive there and try that out as well. But head over to digitalanarchy.com. We have lots of great software. We have plenty of other plugins that you can try out as well as some free plugins and lots of other tutorials on power search and transcriptive. So check it all out and thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.